Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to increase egg laying in Arc Survival Evolved with a couple of game mechanics, and then at the end we'll look at a single player settings if you want to go that route. So, let's get right to it. The first thing that we're going to look at is mate boosting these uh, creatures here. So, we can look over here at this T-Rex and see above its little uh, name there, it's just got a feeding trough that doesn't have a little heart. So, these Triceratops here have little hearts over them. So do these Baryonyx. And that means that they are mate boosted. So having um, like a number of females, it does only takes uh, one male to boost a number of females within a certain range. And having that male around will increase the amount of eggs, uh, the sterile eggs that the uh, that the dinos are going to lay. So that's pretty self-explanatory, but we can take a look over here. So if you can see in the distance here, Therizinos um, are not mate boosted. And we can go ahead and grab this guy over here, the Terminator, hop up there, and then we'll get within range. And so I think usually what I end up doing is if I want a lot of eggs, I'll have, now we can see there are starting to get mate boosted even at this range. We'll have like, I don't know, five females to one male if I really need a lot of eggs. So that is mate boosting. The next thing that we can do that is relatively easy to do is tame up an Oviraptor. So we've got an Oviraptor over here, and that thing is going to give us a boost to egg production when um, it is on wander. So it is not on wander right now, and we have no egg boost. And we would know that by having a little egg flashing above uh, the heart, for instance. So we've got this guy all loaded up with stones. So when he's on wander, he's not going to go anywhere. So we're just gonna go into behavior and then we're going to enable wandering. And now we've got the little eggs flashing. So everything within a certain range is gonna have these little flashing eggs. You can see these penguins here have that little symbol going on and it extends a pretty good distance. This guy even over here has it. And these couple of Baryonyx have that little boost. So that will stack on top of that mate boost, which will help give us some more eggs. And uh, just one other little tip here is to kind of make life easier collecting the eggs. You can either just kind of uh, get these guys and shimmy them over here to the very edge of a, uh, of a roof like we've got here. We can put a ramp on here. And then if they hit right, they'll roll right down here. So this guy over here, this crazy lady, needs to back up a little further. But that's going to make picking up these eggs much easier, especially something like an Argentavis, uh, like uh, Redtail over here. It's kind of hard to get the eggs sometimes. Not real hard, but it'll just make it easier for you with the little cliff or the little ramp. One more thing about the Oviraptor, though. It is kind of annoying because it takes quite a lot of eggs to tame up an Oviraptor. So it's one of those things that, you know, you're going to need a bunch of eggs. And uh, to get eggs, uh, you need an Oviraptor, or at least it'll help you out. So kind of annoying, but that's the way it is. So the last thing to do if you need like eggs like right now or just like an egg, of course, is just to enable mating of these egg layers here. And, you know, you'll just have to wait for this to mating process to finish, which usually just takes a minute or so. I guess I enabled wandering because it is wandering off. But anyway, enable mating, not wandering. And then it'll eventually lay an egg, but it'll be a fertilized egg. But you can still use fertilized eggs for kibble as well as sterile. That's it for the in-game mechanics that you can sort of boost the egg laying with. But in single player, at least, you can go into the advanced tab here in the game settings and then scroll down to egg laying interval. And we want to decrease that interval because that is the amount of time between it lays eggs. And we want to decrease that amount of time. We certainly don't want to increase it. So a lot of people think bigger numbers better. But in this case, shrinking it down is going to give us more eggs. That's it for increasing egg laying in Arc Survival Evolved. I've got a playlist down in the description with dozens of other how-to videos for the game to get you started if you are new. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you very much for watching.